Guys, I've discovered something, and you know when I say that at the beginning of the video, it's going to be worth watching. So this is very, very interesting to me, and also probably to a lot of other people as well. Now, you can actually use Claude Code to create a WooCommerce store, and it's actually pretty nuts what you can do, guys. I have to show you this. So all you do is give Claude Code some products, and it can do everything. You can do all your SEO, add product categories, design the entire website. No more expensive design is needed, and you only need Docker plus Claude Code. So let's just go through this process very quickly. Now, just so you know, this is kind of what it looks like. This is what you can expect. This website, including the products, were completely set up by Claude Code. It's inside a Docker uh, instance. And the reason this exists, by the way, is because I'm adding WordPress and WooCommerce to SEO Grove, which I can already announce that this will be done by the time that I push this video out. So even if you're on WordPress now and WooCommerce, definitely check out seogrove.ai. Uh, this is the dashboard, this is the local version. I'm currently just adding the last couple of features to the to WooCommerce basically. But yeah, this came about because I needed a store and we weren't we didn't actually have any WooCommerce clients or we don't have any WooCommerce clients at the moment. And this is a very like extremely basic store, right? Um, but like I just made this kind of instantly and it's like having Shopify locally, which is just so interesting. It's so, so interesting. So think about what you can actually do. First of all, you can create an entire, like you can add products, right? And then you can get it to design the entire store, all that good stuff. Just like, you know, the directory generator that I gave to people. Now we're probably gonna make a SaaS out of this, um, as yet unannounced, but we're, we're probably going to make something like lovable.dev where you upload a CSV of your product and it just gives you a WooCommerce store basically. But for now, let's just show you how this works. So I'm inside a fresh terminal here and basically I'm just going to write Claude. And from here, I'm literally just going to say, please set up a WooCommerce uh, development instance for me locally using Docker. That's literally it, right? What that's now going to do is it's going to create a WooCommerce website for me locally using Docker, just like I just asked it to. Um, and it will start Docker and I'll show you in just a few seconds. Now, let's say we wanted to actually work on some products. So what I'll do is I'll get the um, Shopify um, products CSV example. I'll just grab this one. I know it's Shopify, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't matter massively. It should be able to add these anyway. So I'm going to show you, right? Let's say you have a CSV file, right? What you do is you get your CSV file. Download a sample CSV file. There we go. So I'm going to download this, right? Let's just say this, this isn't what you will have, obviously, right? Uh, you'll have uh, your own CSV file, of course. So you can see here, this is just very, very simple. It just creates a very simple Docker composed op. WML, very simple .env, and a very single, well, in this case, it's using a .sh script in order to set up WooCommerce on the store. But you could also just run these commands manually or get it to run these commands manually, right? Okay, so that should be pretty much done. And then I'll say, please, you know, start everything. So let's see. I don't like all these .sh scripts that it's doing. It doesn't normally do that, but that's okay. Now, if you kind of think along the same lines as me, right, my kind of idea here is to build a directory generator before e-com websites, right? Um, but yeah, that's, that, that, that's coming up in the future. So I had to swip, switch the ports out because it was using the same, uh, the same ports as the other local WordPress that I have running. Also change the ports generally as I have another project running. Okay, so that looks like it worked. So let's open this page, right? So I need to install. So I'll just tell us to do all of that. Okay, it looks like it, it's already running it here. So sleep 15 and, and set up woocommerce.sh so what it'll do in 15 seconds is it will run setup woocommerce.sh so that should be any second now there we go it's running it 
we can do control R and we can actually see what it's doing and stuff if we want. So I'm just going to say, can you just install stuff manually, please? Because that setup script wasn't actually working. Okay, so now you can see it's actually doing stuff properly. So um, it should have just installed WordPress. There we go. Now it's activating WooCommerce. So you can actually see that this one has a checkout. It has a My Account, Sample Page, Shop, etc. right? So this is actually where it starts to get super, super interesting. So it's installing Storefront, which I believe is a very common theme for WooCommerce. By the way, guys, just so you know, I'm not an expert on WooCommerce um, or WordPress, to be honest with you. I've barely used WooCommerce, but today I've learned an absolute crap ton about it. And I actually really like WordPress, I'm not going to lie. WordPress for e-commerce is very satisfying. I think I might prefer it to Shopify, which is crazy, considering how much I've been obsessed with Shopify. So watch this, guys. Just watch this. So let's say we get our CSV, right? And I say, add the products from this CSV to my store using uh, CLI. And what it should do is it should read these products. There we go. And it, it sees it's Shopify, but that's fine. I can see the Shopify. Okay, I'll convert and import these into WooCommerce. Let me create a script that part, and it's not really what I want. Um, but let's just see if this works. I'm kind of curious to see. Because if you've got more than one product, obviously you're going to want to do kind of a passing. You don't want to have to do it one by one, actually. So this is probably the better way to do it. But just so you know, it can add individual things by running commands like these commands here. It can do Docker, exec, WooCommerce, and then it can add um, products, categories, literally everything. So let's see if this works. I'm actually very curious to see what happens here. So there's an error. Okay, so what I, I believe what it's done is it's created a custom import script, right? And then it's copied it into Docker. And now it's going to run it. This is very interesting. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's doing everything manually here instead of the script. I probably would push it to continue using a script. I believe it always uses admin, admin, one, two, three, exclamation mark. No. Let's see what the password was here. Let's just, without the exclamation mark. Fair enough. So let's log into the admin here. If we go to products, all products, we start should start, see to, start to see the products coming through. And you can actually view this product and you can see, there we go. There is our first product. So some of you might be confused, why am I using a Shopify CSV? Let me just go into that a little bit. The reason I'm using it is because I want to show that you can use any CSV. It's not important that it's a Shopify CSV. I'm not saying go from Shopify to WooCom. I'm just saying if you can get, you kind of need some kind of way to get products on your store, no matter what, right? And a lot of these things use CSV. You could also just import your products using some kind of importer. But I'm just showing you guys how malleable and flexible WordPress is for this kind of stuff. Okay, so let's refresh this now. It said that it's, yeah, look at that, bang. So we've now got four products. If you can get four products, obviously you can get a thousand products. The process is exactly the same. So if we view or edit one of these, we can see it's got an image. It's got all of this, et cetera, et cetera. This is all perfect for um, creating it or doing the SEO afterwards with Grove. Now I can instantly see some things missing here like SKU shipping linked products stuff like that so i'd probably work on this a little bit more if you're doing it but for now this is great okay so we've we've got this right but what use is this to anyone right what i'm going to show you now is the really exciting part so we've got products right i could say for example add me categories uh add me a mega menu etc but i'm not going to do that but just so you know you can do that I'm going to say design me a, or even you could use something like V0 or let's just say um, Google Stitch, right? Let's just go to Stitch, right? Just because I want a good design, not a crap design. I don't want a shitty um, whatever design. So design me a clean homepage for a clothing store. And then I guess I could potentially just add my images here so that it gets some idea. So let's go back. Let's just take a screenshot and then we'll stick that here. These are my 
products blend their style into it make it modern and clean my store is called i have no idea um i'll just say two men because I, I don't have time to think of something okay so just the just so you guys know you can also do this where you add clothing you add different um product categories i did all of this just not manually but with claude co doing it i said now add me you know make sure my products are inside their categories add me a menu you know and then you can just start vibe coding your entire design which is what i'm going to show you now okay so it's giving me this design let's just grab this design so go here uh control a control c ignore that create me an entire home page now for the store use this as a base and then paste that right okay so i understand what the problem is now so stitch gives css that doesn't actually really work um but th this is what it looks like when you put it on w3 schools right and this is what it created now obviously it added a picture so the text is a bit messed up but it did everything else pretty much perfectly for some reason it's not showing the products on the home page i don't i'm not sure Oh, right. Okay. So the products weren't activated. So you can see, maybe you can see what I'm kind of trying to cook up here. Obviously, this is a very, very basic example. This is also the first example, right? But effectively, what you can do is you can get a CSV of any products that you want to sell, whether that's arbitrage, drop shipping, you know, whatever the hell it is, make a store in probably under an hour and then just move on to the next one, right? That's kind of what is now possible now that I kind of realized that this is all possible. But yeah, I think I'll leave the video there, guys. Um, like I said, Grove now supports WooCommerce by the time you watch this video, or maybe in like an hour or two after this video drops, it will. Um, I've just been working on it for a while now, and I'm really excited for that, and there's a lot more coming, I think, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.